What's going on guys, Carl here today. So today's video, we're going to be doing yet again another setup build video. This time we're going to be doing it slightly different. I want to actually show you how my setup has evolved over the last couple of years. Now please bear in mind guys that some of these pictures are old, but I'm going to be trying to include some nice B-roll to make it a bit more better. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, then please slap a thumbs up. But anyway guys, let's get on with it. So we're going to kicking things off back in January 2014. I recently just moved house, so I wanted a quick gaming setup just to enjoy it for what it is. This is before I was doing YouTube as well. That 600T case there to the right is the same one I got in my latest gaming setup. I have so many different motherboard and graphics cards in that case. I just don't know what to do when it comes to upgrading the case because I just don't like the look of any of the mid towers. Back then as well, I was using a Cyborg V7 keyboard and a Rat9 mouse called the Mad Cats. Now, I still have these in the garage today. And I don't know what switch does in them. I didn't really care. I just loved them at that time. And it was one of my first ever keyboards I had. I also had an AOC 1080p monitor back then. I think it was 23 inch. And when I got that, I thought that was the shit. But overall, this whole setup was just actually to enjoy gaming with my friends. So now we jump four months ahead, about May 2014, and they didn't really do too much between these months. The only thing I really changed, of course, was the desk itself. I've got rid of that humble corner desk and got this nice IKEA desk, well, the same one I'm currently using today. And the other things I really did was got, of course, the X wide mouse mat just to make sure everything looked nice and neat and tidy. And the only last modification I did was to the PC itself. I put in two MSI GTX 670 Power Edition cards in SLI just to give me better performance while I was gaming. So now things start to get interesting because we just jumped 10 months to March 2015. Unfortunately, at this time period, I don't have many pictures previous to this one to show you how it's all evolved. But as you can see, I got a lot of new things. The one thing I was most proud of had the Asus Swift PG278Q 1440p 144Hz G Sync monitor, one of the first ones ever to be released. And I'm so proud to get this. And I still use this today as my gaming monitor on the right side, as you guys probably know, and it's one of the best monitors I've ever used. But unfortunately, I had to go out and buy some new graphics cards to power this beast because them two 670s in SLI, even though those great cards, I know what I love them two power edition cards, it just did not have the horsepower to power that 1440p monitor. So I had to go out and buy some 970s. At the time, it was cheaper to buy their 980. I picked the MSI because it's one of my favorite brands. And I even have these cards in my system, even on my latest gaming set. I'm waiting for Password to be released. I went out and bought a Corsair K70 RGB lighting keyboard as well, mainly of course because I wanted the red cherry on its switches and I wanted to change what color I wanted it to do. But of course it had them red cherry on its switches, which even though I am an FPS gamer and it's the fastest response, I had to remove the caps off the actual keyboards and fit some O-ring sealers because it had that annoying click as you guys probably know about if you actually use these red switches. And to be honest, it just pissed me off and did my head into actually put these seals on to quiet them down. Also went out and bought a large text G502 mouse, which is probably one of my favorite game mouses to use. Now, of course, you probably noticed I had the horse at the GT Mega Racing Chair, what I still use today in my latest gaming setup. And I love this chair to bits. And of course, this is the Evo version, which don't sell anymore, unfortunately. I gotta say, this thing come packaged very, very well for £150. This chair is one of the best chairs I've ever used, considering that some of the basic office chairs can cost in excess of £300 to have. So, definitely a nice product by GT Omega, and I was really happy with it. Assembled quite easy, and as you can probably tell now, from the old gaming chair to this one, it's a massive improvement and sort of my back problems out. So I was really happy about that. And the other thing I bought as well, of course, was that Blue Yeti just to have better voice quality while I was doing YouTube. So now, of course, we jump into August 2015. The first thing you might notice is that the gaming room has turned into a nursery. Of course, at this time, my partner was pregnant with my second child, and she, of course, needed the room. She's actually currently been born now and growing up a bit too fast for my liking. But at the time, I actually really wondered what I was going to do. But luckily enough, I got the opportunity to go ahead and extend the property and build myself a new room, which, of course, then didn't really take too long to do. It took a couple of weeks with the builders to get up and running. And overall, it turned out pretty damn nice I took the opportunity to put my gaming set up in here and I actually have a nice view of the garden which is always quite pleasant to look at and one thing I love is I have a glass roof which is another a real nice feature to have so I moved my gaming set up in here I didn't really do anything else to it so I just put it in here and make it look nice and clean but in overall it actually worked out better for myself because now I can expand and do what the hell I want with my gaming set up without worrying about room of course I did have a brainwaves headset holder though I also put some LED lights on the 
back on my desk just to get a nice ambulance feel while I'm gaming at night time. And the other thing I added was a sofa as well and a couple of other little things just so I can actually chill out there. Well, you can plan on doing vlogs on the sofa as well, but mainly just to chill out. So of course now we're in January 2016. This is currently how my gaming setup looks while actually making this video. And the first thing you might notice is I do have some new things. First of all, the setup itself looks super clean and cable free. And of course, I'm running dual monitors. Now, first of all, about clean builds, I really went out my way to make sure that all the god awful cables were hidden away to the point where even underneath the desk itself looks exceptionally neat and tidy. And I even drilled through the desk to hide them keyboard and mouse wires. But overall, I feel like I've done a fantastic job there. Of course, I'm rocking two monitors now. I went out and bought an Asus 1080p monitor, mainly for editing and, of course, screaming. I actually went out and bought a Novatech V2 dual monitor stand. This stand only cost me £50. I know what, for the build quality for £50, this stand is a real good value for product. One thing I love about it, it's actually curved the same shape as, of course, the monitors go round. So, overall, a nice product. Also, went out and got myself a Rode PSG1 arm. This arm itself for my is quite expensive, but the build quality justifies the price. Has a short reach in my opinion though, but overall still a fantastic product. Also went out and got an Audio Technica 2035 mic, which I'm actually speaking on now with a cheap £5 pop filter. And this is connected to a Focusrite Scarlet Solo, again what I'm using to talk on this commentary now. So overall, fantastic products there as well. Also still rocking that Corsair K70 RGB keyboard with the JMX switches and of course that awesome Logitech G502 mouse which to be honest is one of my favourite mouses. But overall I'm really happy the way the setup looks. I'm still not 100% sure what I want to do next but of course I'm guessing it's all about expanding and upgrading over time. And the other thing I would say of course make sure you add that nice picture in the background just to make it pop. And a few night pictures now just to show you what the ambulance feel like when I'm actually gaming at night time. So that's pretty much how my setup has evolved over the last couple of years. Now of course I'm not really finished and happy with the way it looks to be honest. I definitely want a triple monitor surround, maybe something like a wide screen, ultra wide screen in the actual middle, and then 227s on the side. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I definitely want to get rid of this desk for a wider one and I really want to build a new PC build so all these things I guess will come in time. But anyway guys, if you've got any comments about this video or want to know anything about my PC build or setup behind me, then drop a comment below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. As always, thanks for watching, leave a like and I'll catch you next time. See ya.